It's almost become a thing to be attacked and to be called the Jezebel. And, and I just really want to put Jezebel in the proper context to where we are in the end of time. You see, Elijah is... There's an end time Elijah, but you need to see the fulfillment in the historical Elijah, the New Testament Elijah, and the apocalyptic Elijah. And Elijah was uh, for righteousness. And as you can see, John the Baptist came in the spirit of Elijah. And what, what was John the Baptist preaching? Repent, repent. So is there any difference that the apocalyptic Elijah will also have the message of turning people back to the holy commandments of God? Repent. And the spirit now is from the Antichrist, the beast power, which the apocalyptic Elijah doesn't show up by himself. You have Jezebel, the beast, and the false prophet, which is, well, the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet. But you can see Jezebel in the beast power. It is the trilogy all the way at the end of time because you don't have one without the other. And the spirit is, do what thou wilt, their spirit. Where God says, repent and turn ye back. He wants a holy bride that he can take to heaven to be a part of the marriage supper of the Lamb. You see, sin cannot and will not arise in heaven again. That is why God has allowed Satan and his purposes to come to a head so that all of the heavenly universe will know clearly what sin is and how it separates us from God and sin will not be allowed in heaven again so we need the law to be able to identify sin and then it points us to Jesus the Savior of the world that's the purpose of it so if we need to to get into the word of God not do what thou wilt but do what the Lord in heaven wants